I'm uh, Anna Janic and I am a visual artist. Uh, I live here uh, locally in Geneva. I'm originally from Croatia where I was born and educated. The main focus of my artistic practice is watercolor. If I would have to describe my work or my practice, process, watercolor and mark making. I think my work is very much about the moment. The process itself is what informs my work. And I feel that watercolor for that is just simply brilliant. And it's you know, been my huge um, love, that medium of watercolor for the past 20 something years. Watercolor as a medium has the ability to really capture the process. Uh, in a very sincere way because there's no covering up. Whether you do it quickly or slowly or with lots of layers or just, you know, in one breath, there is no covering up. So whatever you do as an artist, whichever mark you leave, it's recorded and then it's apparent to the viewer. And then the mark making, I feel in my work, is almost like journaling. It's very much like writing. It's very direct, it's very intimate. I always feel that it's like writing a letter to a friend or opening my journal. And so it's in a way both spontaneous, but it's also vulnerable. Because every mark you make, the moment you make it, it's just written and it's your handwriting. And I'm going to talk a little bit about the series behind me, the two pieces that are my most recent body of work, Personal Totem. And what's interesting about this series is it started through my experience of the COVID pandemic. So I usually do a lot of pieces at the same time, large work, medium-sized work on the floor and in my home studio. And during the pandemic, my children moved to the online uh, schooling, which meant that we were all of a sudden, uh, all four, you know, four of us uh, under the same roof 24 seven, and which is the case with, with almost everybody globally at that time. But for my art practice, what that meant is it meant that there was no designated time to, to do my work. And I started really creating more for my own sanity, I would even say, um, little, marks and little um, drawings or little watercolors in small sketchbooks. So I would usually wake up really early, I would do a little watercolor wash that would dry quickly, and then when my kids woke up and when their school started and I was close by, I could still do my little, you know, small scale marks uh, and mark making that was both very soothing for me and that was also like a sense of me not losing a touch with my artistic practice. And I feel over time, you know, those very small sketchbooks that you will uh, see, um, they started turning um, into larger pieces. And then uh, eventually they really turned into this series that I titled Personal Totem because it was, um, I feel, a series that kept me sane. It was my own personal little escape from difficult time. I always tend to move towards um, organic and towards something that is really feels very natural. Uh, something that I, I don't actually ever pick colors from nature that I will look and then that I would um, try to mix and achieve that particular color. So I'm not interested in theory of color in my work, but color is extremely important to me. I always um, gravitate towards uh, the soft, you know, sepia tones and the indigo, and those are kind of two main, um, you know, colors that I always go back to. So I have many, many different series, and some have even, you know, pink um, color as their main theme or green color, but the ones, the two that you see a lot in this show, actually, I kind of feel they represent majority of, uh, of my work would be those very earthy and org organic uh, ground, water, ocean, you know, colors. For the personal totem, uh, when I wanted to go larger, um, I also felt, since in the sketchbooks that I did, I used um, what was new, uh, is that I introduced the burn marks that I actually did with a magnifying glass and the sunlight. Uh, and you can see that in this left piece if you come really close. And so I did incorporate a little bit of 3D 
that way because all of a sudden you had you know this dimension that w goes deeper literally and then I felt that the work should be a little bit more of a relief kind of feel have a feel to it that it's you know standing a little bit uh, off of the wall and then I thought well if I overlapped paper and and with four pieces and not only one to kind of form one piece, that would give it a little bit of depth. I feel that when I look at my work, all the roads kind of lead the same way and it's always a return to childhood and to uh, some memories that made huge impression that usually have to do with contact with nature and uh, contact with either, you know, the sea in Croatia, the Adriatic Sea, or in Slovenia that we used to visit a lot when I was a child that has to do a lot with mountains and with rocks and pebbles and moss. So it is very organic and, and it's just something that always repeats throughout my work. I have in this show several series. Several of the pieces are from a series that's titled uh, Origin. And I think with the title I both hinted at just this universal idea of the world, really. Uh, very simple and very universal, so it can mean anything to anybody who is a human. Uh, but also a question of my origin, because the experience of being born and brought up in one, one culture and, the, and growing up in one culture and then moving in my mid-twenties to the United States and how that affected me, that is an interesting theme. So I, even though the work itself is not describing anything literally, the title kind of hints at that experience. The largest piece in this show of mine, the piece that I titled In Search of Arcadia, which for me has symbolic meaning of Arcadia being this mythological place on Earth that doesn't really, it's a utopia, it doesn't really exist but it's an ideal place where the nature is unspoiled by you know, humanity, it's untouched and it's just perfect. I feel that my work and the entire body of work connects with the, the title of the Remembrance of Things Present. It's always about the current moment. It's about the moment when I'm creating, at that very moment, things that happen. But also what I usually um, bring into work has a lot to do with what happened before and my connection with the memories. So it is searching for things and remembering what was soothing and what was like maybe a happy place when I was a child and bringing it into this very moment of creation.